So far, the movies in this series have been about artists whose shows have been postponed or canceled due to the pandemic. I am going to remove that condition and try to look at how professional artists and even non-artists are using art to help them through these difficult times. Hi, my name is Claude Ballant. I'm an artist and art teacher and I went to PAFA in the late 70s, early 80s. In these pronoun-obsessed times, one might wonder if a girl named Claude is somehow akin to a boy named Sue. But Claude's beloved father did not give her a boy's name to toughen her up. He was raised in Belgium, where the name was common for both genders. My father painted in oils on Sundays, and he gave me my first lesson when I was eight. We painted a seascape together. I was completely hooked. All of it was intoxicating to me. The smells, the feel of the brush, the way the paint moved. My art has always been about the ancient past, myth and folklore, and the intersection of natural forms with human symbols. I never wanted to be a teacher. My mom was a third grade teacher when I was little and later an English teacher. I remember telling her I will never do that. But I worked at a daycare center when I was in art school and I also got hooked on hanging out with kids. I've taught art in the public school system for almost 30 years now. My mom still laughs about that. When my schools closed because of the pandemic, I found that two things happened. I had to learn a whole new way to teach, and I totally could not make myself paint. During the shutdown, I felt daunted by the amount of thinking that usually went into my work. And I was now faced with designing lessons that kids could do at home with almost no materials. I had to fall back on the kinds of games I played with my sisters and brother on long car rides. Draw a doodle and make another sibling turn it into something. I needed to model the lessons with examples of my own. I took out some colored pencils and did some doodle art to use in the online activities I was assigning. As I worked, I felt more relaxed than I had for some time. It was just like those coloring books for grown-ups, only it was my art. I've always made pencil doodles based on natural forms as a mindless pastime, and I pulled some of those out and did them again in color. Then I ordered a deluxe set of the good brand of colored pencils, complete with those colorless blending pencils. My husband, Jay, is a musician and composer who has done origami his whole life for the pleasure of it. So we settled into a routine, each of us working at one end of our big dining room table. We listened to music and podcasts and the news, and we worked on our art. I began sharing the doodles online and with my students when we met finally through Zoom. People really seemed to like them. Finally, the inevitable happened. I could begin to see in my mind how the best of my doodles could translate into oil paint. That is where I am now, painting again, but not demanding of myself that I know what it's about. I can see that sometime in the future, when this madness has abated, I'll be able to teach in my art room with clay and paint, and I'll feel ready to have meaning in my paintings again. Or maybe this experience will have cured me of the need to think so hard about what it means, and just to paint. What a wonderful person. I love how C. Ballant the Younger received the gift of making art from C. Ballant the Elder, and in turn now shares this gift with her students. The circle is unbroken.